Hey, I'm Scott. Welcome to the Roasting Shack. I'm just here to give you an update of uh, some of the copies that we have available and to give you an update on uh, a price increase that's coming uh, in the next 30 days, so next month. Uh, we are raising our prices to match uh, the inflation the government says doesn't exist. Uh, and that includes, uh, we've had price hikes on all our products uh, from our distributors, which all do single origin specialty coffee, and that's everything from shipping to the product itself. I've weathered three increases, and now I'm going to have to increase mine. So I hope you understand. I hope you still support us, but I wanted to give an explanation. Um, I'm not increasing my, my profit margin at all. Um, all I'm doing is matching uh, the challenges that I've been giving, uh, being given economically. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's go into some coffees you might be interested that we have incoming. Uh, we have Guatemala La Flor del Cafe, and that is a tremendous coffee coming in. Uh, chocolatey notes, typical low acidity, um, a very tasty Guatemalan coming in. Uh, and then we have uh, Blaw Blaway Estate, and uh, that's East Java, and that's another really good, has the chocolatey nuggety uh, nutty nuggety notes that I kind of like in coffees that we kind of target, you know, cocoa and cho chocolate in our uh, profiling of almost all our coffees minus two. So uh, that's kind of our, our jam. Uh, we have CHC Reserve and that's out of Brazil. And that's a, a specialty coffee uh, that is top of its grade. Also has the chocolatey cocoa nuts, uh, nutty flavors. Uh, that we're targeting and it's very tasty and it's a good all around um, and as a matter of fact uh, Sweet yellow is coming out too and that's out of Brazil as well and um, Both those coffees are tremendous if you do pour over Aeropress Espresso both of them. I highly recommend um, Trying them out uh, and those are just in season. So we just pulled those in and Then we have Tanzania pea berry, which we have a very limited edition on uh, I think we're carrying like nine pounds of it. Um, uh, just for people who like fruity uh, notes, I don't typically carry those except maybe during the holidays, but uh, I, I hadn't carried a pea berry in a while and it looked really interesting and it tastes really good and it does have the fruity notes uh, that it accents in our profile when you look it up. So there's our incoming. Now we have outgoing coffees that we're not gonna be picking up until next year probably. Um, we have Red Sea. Uh, and that's the combination of Ethiopia and Yemen uh, that's going out. So if you want it, I, I don't know how much is left, but um, limited edition. The Bolivia, which is a tremendous coffee if you like bolds um, and well balanced. Uh, that's uh, we're gonna wait until they come up with their next um, uh, harvest. And then uh, we have our decaf Peru, and we're gonna be replacing that with another Swiss processed. Uh, Swiss water processed decaf soon. Um, we normally carry decafs, but as you know, we don't carry decafs that use chemicals uh, to uh, decaffeinate them. So we use a water process, which is a very healthy way of doing it. So we only have a couple pounds of that left. So if you're in decaf, we will be picking up another Swiss water processed decaf, but that's a really good one. Um, and then we're gonna be changing that out and uh, trying something new. And then we have Red Honey, Dominican Republic. That's been a really popular one, and I don't know how much is left of it, but um, that's on the outgoing list. So just giving you guys an update. I hope you guys are happy coffee people. I hope you're enjoying your summer, and uh, I know we at the Roasting Shack are, and thank you for all your support, and uh, we hope you continue to be happy coffee people enjoying our product. Have a good day.